This is Lesson 26.2, The Good Samaritan. Let me go to the next slide. I want you just to watch this slide or look at this slide while I read the story. The Kahn family gathered around the family computer to look at Compassion International's website that showed children in need. As the family looked at several children's pictures, Mother explained that many children around the world don't have three meals a day. They don't get to go to school because they can't pay the school fees. And they might not get medical help when they are sick because their families are poor. Compassion International connects children who need help with people who are willing to pay money for things needed each month. As they continued to read about each child, Ralph began to feel sad. Mother asked Ralph, what was wrong? I feel bad that I can go to school and visit the doctor, but these children can't. They also go hungry while I have all the food I want. Ralph commented sadly. Father opened his Bible and read the story of the Good Samaritan to his family. God provided for the hurt man's needs through the compassion of the Samaritan. We have an opportunity to be a good neighbor and show love and kindness to someone just like the Samaritan did. Father said, then Father prayed and asked God to guide them to the child that their family should help. The family continued to click on different children's pictures until Ralph pointed to Eob, a boy in an African country, and excitedly said, Look, he shares my exact birthday. Together, the family agreed that they would help Eob each month. Mother smiled as she reminded Ralph that his name means the compassionate one. Wow, exclaimed Ralph. I guess I'm kind of like the Good Samaritan. I can't wait to write a letter to Eob to, and sign my name to it. Let's look at the next slide. Okay, this is a whole bunch of different stuff. Compassion International helps people show love and kindness to children in need around the world. Circle the things a child needs to grow up well and learn to serve God. Now this is what they need, not what they might like. So let's look. First of all, does a child really need toys? Mm, I think maybe they want toys, but they don't really need that to survive or to grow in, in God's love. So I'm going to cross that one out. Oops, I think I'll get my pen first. So I'll cross it out now. And we're going to go down. Do they need school fees and books? Well, they can survive without it, but not very easily, because if they go to school and read and learn, they can grow up and learn to survive and make money and feed their families. That's pretty important. So I'm going to circle this one, because he, he kind of needs that. Okay, let's go to three. Do you think that um, he needs shoes? A child needs shoes? Well, yeah, I think clothing and shoes are pretty important to stay healthy. So I'm going to circle that one. Let's go down here. Do they need food? What do you think? I think they need food. It's kind of hard to live without food. 
up here there's a doggy and a kitty well it's nice to have doggies and kitties but that's not something that the child would need that's something they would like so I'm going to cross out the pets because in order to survive and and grow they don't really need the pets that's something that's a little extra and a lot of fun let's go down here this lady is suppose she's a doctor I think she is and she's listening to this little boy's lungs that's medical care is that important I think it's pretty important because if you're not healthy you need a doctor to help you get healthy so I'm going to circle that one okay I hope that you um, had fun today listening to this story and I will I will say goodbye bye bye